G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is Queen Tested, a video series in Fallout 76, where I, well, firstly, gonna clear out whatever's stomping around outside my house. Get get out of here, you giant shrimp. You too, gulper. I'm, I'm sick of you. And then we also kill a Scorch Beast Queen with a specific legendary weapon, just to see how it does and to raid it. And I'll be honest, I selected this weapon because I wanted to have a little bit of a discussion on why two-shot explosives suck, or TSEs in general's TS, whatever it is, two shot equals bad, but then this thing actually performed kind of admirably. Might be because of Stealth Commando, but I can't knock this thing's performance. It does have its problems, which I'll explain during the fight, but we're doing uh, 312 damage with that a little bit of adrenaline, 263 standing here with no adrenaline, which is not too bad if we um, actually get ourselves into Nerd Rage, which I don't think we are right now. We can do slightly better. Yes, there we go. 327. And to give you a little bit of perspective, my bloodied fire rate handmade with no explosive does three, uh, 285. So, although this number might seem more appealing, the DPS on a bloodied fire rate variant of a handmade is a lot higher. And also the risks to self, because, you know, you can't blow yourself up if you're not firing explosive bullets. But I'm not wearing a dense chest piece, so... Kind of my fault. Here is the build. It's just, just the standard build here. We've got fireproof, tenderizer, uh, extra damage out of that serendipity bloody mess. We're basically using this at Nerd Rage Threshold because we get all of the bonuses out of Adrenal Reaction and Nerd Rage itself, which is significant. There's a lot of incentive to play at low health in this game, considering what kind of bonuses you can get from those perks and mutations, and also armor, which is all unyielding. So... That'll boost all of my specials except for endurance by three each at low health, equaling 15. Three times five is 15, quick maths. And a lot of these do have action point refresh speeds. In fact, all of them do. Whether all of them actually work is up for someone else to fucking decide. I don't care, but I'm thinking it works. And there are the buffs. I picked up the blight because the Scorch Beast Queen is feeling a little bit under the weather today, as usual. But we'll get that fixed out when uh, we jump in the uh, the fountains. There are my special stats from it. The major ones here are perception and agility. Obviously, perception is really good for that accuracy. When you're using a two-shot weapon, the accuracy stat is subpar. It's, it's not very good. If we compare that 78 to something... I mean, this is one with a scope, but still, this one the accuracy is less. That's a... let's find something of the same class. So that's 77? Aha! That's because I'm using the true barrel. That's right. Well, the thing is, the hip fire accuracy isn't good. So if we tighten that up with the true barrels and, you know, make the whole thing slightly more accurate, that'd be good. And, yeah, you'll find this thing, because it's two-shot firing two projectiles, is a little bit more inconsistent in that. So I think I've talked enough about this thing. I'll just show you the gameplay and see this old Meta Blaster go. Get it? Because, like, Metal Blaster from the pit. Alrighty, so we're about 90 seconds away from the nuke dropping, and before I begin, what I probably want to do is uh, clear out the field here, make sure we don't get any random encounters around these points where enemies will you know, get the attention of the Scorch Beast Queen and make my life a problem, because, uh, yeah, it tends to happen like that sometimes. There's a little baby Scorch Beast, just to give you a little bit of an idea of how much we do to baby ones. It's not terrible with the with the TSC handmade. She does alright sometimes, but the problem with the two-shot explosive uh, handmaids and other weapons like this is that they're really not as good as everyone thinks they are. I see all the time over on the Facebook, the, the console threads, they seem to... You know, blow sunshine up these weapons' asses when it's really unwarranted. See, there's a glowing gulper. They could have taken the, the queen's aggro and made my life uh, just a pain in misery. Because I already do that to myself enough already. I'd rather not have the game do it as well, you know. So, it looks like we've cleared out the field and we've got a little bit more adrenaline to spare. We're still in caution due to something. I'm thinking that the uh, Scorch Beast sent out his cronies. Good shot from caution there, my man. And we've got to be worried about the little ankle bite as it show up. I think the biggest redeeming quality of a two-shot explosive weapon is just clearing out the little ankle bite as it get right underneath you and then transmit your location data to Barbara's iPhone. And then, actually, yeah, she would use an iPhone because she's evil. Um, yeah, so that's not fun. So what we'll do is we'll make sure we're sneaking. 
and we'll get started, and I'll explain why two shot sucks. So, whilst you've got the base damage, which at full adrenaline, mind you, right now we're looking at 446, and we're going to quickly run this thing into the ground, but whatever. Um, you'll find that it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, at least per shot. I'm in danger now, because I ran a little bit too close. Sun's still out, so that'll explain why we're still getting detected. But what happens is it divides that base damage, which is only 25% more, by the way. Um, obviously, we're getting a little bit extra from the explosive projectile. Let's make sure she actually comes back now. Um, you'll find that... Whoops. Actually, whilst I'm here, I think I just pulled Sneak off as well. That's probably not the best thing to remove at this point. So let's just find that. Remember, it's in alphabetical order. There we go. Let's put COVID operative back on. Hopefully, Barbara hasn't forgotten I'm here. We'll just aggro the Scorched again. So, yeah, it divides at only, you know, one point... Oh, she's healed. Doesn't matter. We've only lost a few minutes of time here. It's not the end of the world. But, yeah, you'll find it'll just divide the base damage between the two projectiles. And when they've got a... I guess it's... it's it feels kind of low now dealing with the colossal problem, but... With a 70% damage resistance that she's got, you'll find that she soaks up a lot of that damage. And when you consider the fact that... I forgot to repair it. When you consider the fact that... I think she found me too. I'll just run in the panic bunker. Yeah, this is another problem with the uh, two shots is that it'll degrade quicker because you're firing twice at once, which is no good. You'll find that, yeah, since... The uh, damage per projectile is a lot lower. Think of it as how shotguns perform against a Scorched Beast Queen. If you've ever used a shotgun against a Scorched Beast Queen, you know you're in for a bad time. It's kind of like that, but less severe when it comes to the, like the amount of damage that you won't be doing. Obviously, for a stealth commando weapon, we're still going okay anyway. People probably think that it's adequate, but I'll remind you that I can get up to 7... 100 damage per shot. That's a little bastard right there. Gotta watch out for that too. I was expecting more from my jetpack that I'm very disappointed. Although I had fuck all AP left, so whatever. Now, luckily for me, I haven't been spawned back into the nuke zone, so the game hasn't dropped me there. But yeah, that's another potential flaw of it. If I was, See, if I'm using a fire rate weapon, I probably would have gotten away with that. But... Yeah, probably the only redeeming quality is that it can do that. You'll notice also with the with the two shot, is its accuracy is a lot lower, and vats will be very un inconsistent. Even when you have concentrated fire giving you an extra ninety five percent, you know the guaranteed hit. What it usually be, you can still whiff the shots in vats, which is just no good. If you've got plenty of AP like me, though, you can sometimes get. That was only a little baby radroach though, so whatever. We're kind of not in the great spot here, and I don't think I'm luring her over properly. Although, she is coming around now. No, I'm, I'm moving. Oh, wait. No, she's seen me now. Well, it looks like we're doing this in the open. And... Oops. Looks like we are in danger once again. Caution, please. There we go. Sometimes you'll notice that you'll get okay damage, and it'll just stop. I feel like it's kind of stopped. Let's just reel it on the head and see what we can do. Alright, she's mutated, which is nice. We're out of Nerd Rage, which we can easily fix. Get out of here, Rad Roach. See, so those, those are little bastards that'll get under you and detect you. And for some reason, the doggos are omnipotent. Um, which, you know, may, it may make sense for doggos to be that kind of switched on to everything. But I swear I had dirty water here. I don't, actually. I can use that just to regain Nerd Rage if I die, which is probably the best way, to be honest. But now I'm being attacked by ads, so we'll make sure we get them out of the way. Now, you could negate the explosive damage inflicted to yourself even further if you decided to put a, um, a uh, dense chest piece on, which I don't have for combat armor, so that's why I'm not using it. Ah, yes, the old ADAD spam. So, a little known fact about Barbara. Big... Big fan of Battlefield 1. She she knows the mechanics really well, and she'll skip around, duck, dive, dip, duck, and dodge her way to victory all the time. Now, luckily for me, a two-shot explosive weapon, or just a two-shot in general, is going to spray bullets in kind of every direction. But 
yeah, getting away, like if she, if she tried to do that with my bloodied fixer, yeah, she, that wouldn't fly. I'd be smashing her for, she'd be dead right now. This would probably be enough time for me to actually kill her. And you'll notice there that a couple of shots there in that swift, which is no good. But look, it's not terrible, but we can do so much better. I'd actually probably prefer a two-shot fire rate variant here. And although we um, have observed that the Scorched Beast Queen has some sort of crazy damage resistance about her, or maybe the uh, proper diagnosis there is her, that the explosive damage is rather well soaked up by her massive resistance about her, um, that's probably why. Just collect some of this water. Get myself in a nerd rage. Oh, she's forgotten where I am. It's okay, I'm glad I managed to pick that up before she flew away and started healing. Ah, yes, classic Barbara behavior. Yeah, it's kind of annoying when she does that, but what do you do? That should get me into Nerd Rage if I wasn't already. And if we can get a good land, that would be good. Mm hmm Good, she's behaving. So, the kill time on this has actually been pretty quick, which, you know, may go against my words about talking about how much I dislike two-shot weapons, especially two-shot explosive, but, you know, for an old, old meta beast this thing was, that's a fucking crab of death right there. She, she holds up pretty well, to be honest, so maybe there's lies in my words. It's up for interpretation, I guess, but honestly, I wouldn't bother with it. There's a reason why all of the people who, are, who know what they're doing have moved on to fire rate variants of everything. And also, another thing is that since this game is, like, totally cooked right now in terms of how it calculates damage when you're hitting shit too fast, it is pretty likely that we managed to bug the game out there, so that also must be considered, but... There you have it. That was the, uh, two-shot explosive handmade, and although I talk shit about it, the... The handmaid was like, well, if you're gonna do that, I'm going to perform admirably. And there's no denying that it did, but it just would have been a lot quicker and a lot less of a, you know, pain in the ass if I did that with a blade fire rate fixer, but, you know, it's, it's not terrible, I guess. At the end of the day, I got the job done in a fairly decent time, so what is there to complain about? It's a 30-minute event, and I just did it with a non-meta weapon, because this is the one from one meta ago. Although, my gear that... Well, I'm glad I pocketed my flux. Thanks, game. I think I'll end it there. I think you get the idea. Thank you for watching, guys.